Hola beauties and beasties and welcome to my very first talking video! Yay! That was my shoulder. But it's gonna be a video kind of explaining what this channel is about and what I'm about because I feel like I kind of just flew into this channel and it didn't exactly explain what was gonna happen on this channel. I have sparkles all over the floor over here. All over, watch this. Sparkles, just from putting my hand on the ground. Welcome to my recording room. So, Beauty Meets Beast is kind of like um, a takeoff of like Disney, I guess, because you know, Beauty and the Beast. Well, I kind of took that and formed it into my own thing where it's beauties, such as like pretty makeup, glam makeup, as most people call it, and beasts, which is like the gory side or like the more fantasy type side of it. So that's where I got the name Beauty Meets Beasts at. So it's, like I said, a takeoff of Disney, which, you know, I'm a huge freaking Disney nerd if you didn't know that already. You'll eventually find that out, don't you worry. You guys could call me Dave. People have called me Dave because I did a makeup of a guy and it was just a random makeup and they're like, wow, you look like Dave Navarro from the show Ink Masters. He's known for other things, but that's where I know him from. They're like, you look a lot like Dave. So now I'm Dave. Um, you can call me Beauty. You can call me Beast. I really don't care. You can call me whatever you'd like to. Um, I am 18 years old. I'm turning 19 in less than a month, July 2nd. So... Happy birthday to me, I will be 19, because that's usually what comes after 18. I'm glad I clarified that with myself. Um, I have two jobs right now. <coughs> We're good. I have two jobs right now. One of them is an escape room game director, which if you don't know what an escape room is, it's where you get locked in a room for 50 minutes you have to use clues and everything, like go through the environment and figure out how to get out of the room because that's the whole point of it, that's why it's an escape room. My second job is I am a part-time party princess, which yes, that's exactly what it sounds like. I go to little kids' parties, whether it's boys or girls, I mean, it doesn't matter. Everyone loves princesses, right? And I just basically go and I sing some songs and I dress up and everything and just kind of have a party with them. And it's the coolest job ever. I'm hoping one day to get a job at Disney because that would be really flippin' awesome. I'm going to Disney in September for a um, anniversary thing with my boyfriend and I swear as soon as I walk into the park every time I almost, if not actually cry, I almost cry every time seeing the castle and I'm almost 19 and I'm like, oh, there's the castle, it's so beautiful, stuff like that. I'm seriously just a grown-up child and I hate being an adult but I also love it because I can go to Disney pretty much whenever as opposed to when you're a kid and you, you can like never go because it's so far away and stuff. I guess enough about my personal life story. Um, I'll give you guys some insight on uh, me as a makeup artist. I am getting into my second year. I've done one full year of makeup and I only know that because Facebook gave a notification like it's been one year since this picture. That was like my first actual picture of me doing some special effects makeup. It was more of just kind of face paint stuff. So, um, I started off by doing eyeshadows and eyeliners as the whole makeup. Like I did a cheetah before and it was just all eyeliner and all eyeshadow because that's all I had. That is seriously all I had. I didn't have any face paints. I didn't even know what liquid latex was at the time, which, whew, you know, that's a big thing if you want to get into special effects. Why? Hello. How's that coming from over there? Get down. I am currently in college. Well, right now is my summer break, but I am a college student. I am studying marine biology, so I'm into the fishies, you know. I actually have four fish, four betta fish. Love them to death. They're so cute. I have a bunny as well named Clarence. Clarence is amazing. I started getting liquid latex around Halloween time of this past year in 2015, and that was... Um, that was my first time ever using liquid latex, and I used it for a Halloween costume contest, which I came in third for, but that's because I was a zombie, and I didn't really have, like, a talent, and I guess there was, like, a talent portion. It's not that I don't have any talents, it's just I didn't have one prepared because I didn't know there was a talent portion of it, so I was like, okay, it's so, like, I'll, I'll just sit here. That was probably my biggest makeup that I've done is the zombie ones. The zombie ones are so much fun to do. I'm hoping to do a tutorial sometime soon of a zombie makeup. I hope you guys will want that because you guys have no choice if I upload it because 
you're here and you're watching. Some fun facts about me also is, as you can see, my face is completely pale. My arms, not so much because I got a pretty good tan, but um, I'm a very pale person, so I pretty much use the lightest foundation in any line. I'm pretty sure I use L'Oreal's Porcelain color for foundation. Yeah, porcelain, as in like, it's basically like you're the lightest person that they could provide to. That's me. But I've gone up one, one level of foundation before to a little bit darker, and you know what? It was way too dark. Way too dark. It was actually this um, Maybelline Fit Me. Like, look at that. That's just too dark for, for my skin, and this is their light one. I think this was actually their lightest one. So I had to go from one brand's lightest one to the next brand's lightest one, and it's... It's hard being this pale sometimes. You put on your foundation and they try to put on highlighter and you're like, can I get any lighter than this? I don't think so. Um, I'm never prepared for this stuff because I don't like writing things down, so I don't. These are just some weird facts about me, but my eyes are naturally this blue. I don't have contacts, which some people are like, is that your real eye color? Yes, it's my real eye color. Um, I do have glasses. These ones are 100% fake. They're literally just for looks. I do have a real pair of glasses though because at night I am blind as a bat. With I have astigmatism in my eyes so like all the lights look like little fireworks. And it's hard for me to tell how far away they are because I'm like, ooh, look at the pretty fireworks. And I was like, oh, that's a car right there. Stop before you hit that car. This camera that I'm using is a Canon... forgot the name of it. I'll put it down below what it actually is. It's actually really good compared to what I used to use. I know I'm talking a lot, but I figured I'd get all this stuff out now so I'm not doing it during actual videos. My other camera that I used to use for my other two videos was my iPhone. I seriously have never had a real camera until now, so this is like super exciting because the quality is really good. It zooms in, it zooms out, it's great. That's pretty much what I'm about, I guess. Yeah. I don't even know if I've plugged my charger in all the way or not. So if you guys have any questions or any requests, anything like that, you can comment them down below because I would love to read that. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys will stick around and subscribe and all that and hopefully maybe around 500 subscribers I'll do like a special video or something but for right now we have like 130 something and I'm hoping that we can grow our beauty and beastie community. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment. You guys are all beautiful. I'm glad you guys came to watch. And, yeah. All right. Goodbye, everybody.